Welcome back. Prepare to meet Mr T. No, not the one with the mohawk and all the bling from the A-team. We talk of uh, one of the most famous tea growers around. Meryl Fernando came all the way from his Sri Lankan home to visit Napier for the Art Deco weekend. So we sent our proud Sri Lankan reporter, Jahan Casanada, to take him on a tiki tour. Amidst the glitz and glam of Art Deco, a special guest all the way from Ceylon. We're taking a ride with Mr Dilma the undisputed king of tea. You're a bit of a celebrity here, aren't you? Well, <laughs> people say so. Meryl Fernando has been selling tea here for three decades. Kiwis are very warm, hospitable, nice, honest people. He visits his Kiwi customers every year. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. you. They simply know you as... Mr Dilma. Mr Dilma. <laughs> or the Dilma man. He's addicted to drinking the stuff. Nine cups a day. Nine cups a day? Yeah, yeah. A passion that extends to his sons. They're the new faces of the family firm. Well, my father was convinced that if he didn't join the tea business, we'd be unemployed. So we didn't have much of a choice. It turns out tasting top tea takes time. If you can just nose that a little bit, there's a little bit of orchid. It's a floral note. Much like our own fine wine, the true taste is only appreciated if it's slurped, not sipped. Don't be shy, don't be shy. You make as much noise as... <laughs> you know, take the tea into your mouth and then slurp it. Apparently, it aerates the tea. OK, you're going to have to start again. Then there are the rules. Tea is best drunk without milk, without sugar. Here's someone who could do with that advice. I like my tea with milk, no sugar. Uh, if you're making me a cup of the stage. Yes, even Key is here for tea with Dilma, but where's the outfit? Is anyone mistaking you for an ice cream seller? <laughs> that was the issue, wasn't it? Oh, very funny, but it didn't take him long to rustle something up. Oh, I went into a telephone booth and came out like this. What do you think? Oh, I could sell you an ice cream now. <laughs> we could go in business together. <laughs> See ya. Mr Dilma says his lifetime in business has given him more than he ever expected. I want to spread it and make other people happy. He's doing that one cup at a time. Please do try it. <laughs> that was the one thing I wanted to hear. Well done, Jahan. And yes, I agree, um, you could have sold Mr Whippies as well.